my name is Stella and welcome to my channel. So in today's episode of Trying Random Things, we are going to be attempting diamond art painting. So if you haven't heard of diamond art painting, basically it's taking a bunch of little diamond beads and then sticking them onto a sticky canvas. So it's like pixel art in physical form. I decided I wanted to try diamond art painting because I saw some of my favorite YouTubers doing it and it just looked really fun. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get into it. All right. Dude, nice. Let's open it up. First we have the canvas itself, the pen tool. Next we have all the beads. Now I'm gonna try using the pen tool. I see we have two tips, one that's like slightly wider and one that's more narrow. And this is the wax that you use to actually pick up the diamond beads. So push in to grab a bit of the wax. Let's get some on the large side too. It looks like we got a lot of G's, which are probably those black beads I saw earlier. So maybe I'll start there. The bags will have numbers on them, not actually letters. So I'm gonna have to find out what G matches up to. G is 13. So I guess correctly, it is this giant bag of black stuff. So I'm gonna put the beads in a tray. I'm gonna kind of shake them out. Ah, some of them fell onto the table. Note that this is not covered up. I'll try and pick up one at a time first. We'll see how that goes. Oh, that was actually super easy to pick up. Oh, I need a, I forgot. I need to remove the plastic from this canvas first. Ta well, that's approximately fine. I mean, it's not a very clean cut. Ha ha ha, oh no. All right, well, we'll start from that corner then. This canvas is quite sticky. All right, let's go for speed. That was pretty easy. So let's try picking up a larger set over here. I've got a bunch in a row. Okay, this is kind of kind of tricky. What the heck? Hmm. Okay, this large tool is definitely way more finicky. Come on. Let's try this slightly smaller tip because this one is not doing it for me. This looks like a little bit more reasonable. Maybe picking up three diamonds instead of like ten. Damn, the whole tool fell off. All right, let's try again. Here's three and boom. Okay, that one, that went pretty well until the tip just fell off again. So this tip, the smaller tip is much easier to work with, but it just keeps wanting to fall off. Doop, aw, oh, not bad. And I'll note that my kit only came with one tray. So I'm kind of incentivized to finish as many G's as I can before I break into another color because that'll mean I have to put them into another little plastic bag. Let's work on the G's first. Ah, man, this is kind of finicky. Ah, okay, we got this, I believe, I believe. All right, so I think I figured out a trick. The trick is you don't necessarily need all of the beads to be lined up in the tray, but for example, you can pick up two on the back side and then pick up another two like in the middle so now there's four, pick up like another two like that. And now I have a perfect row of six and I can just put it down instantly. Yay, so much easier. This is like way better than trying to line up rows of six on the tray because that was like almost impossible. So, you know, the time definitely flies when you're doing it, um, but I will say my back is like starting to get tired. Unfortunately, I feel like for diamond painting, you kind of just have to be crouched over the canvas in order to see everything well right now. And as a result, my back is starting to hurt. So at this point, I was starting to regret the size of canvas that I chose because even though the picture looked great, my back and hands were starting to get really tired. Almost done. Oh, putting in the eye. Ta-da! You want to see one right there? Where? I see it. Oh my god, I missed one. Look, I want to do the eye last. There you go. Ta-da! And now for the grand reveal. Alright guys, so after a week and a half of hard work, I have finally finished my diamond art painting and oh my god, I think it looks so good. 
I'm really happy with how the design turned out and I love the way that the kind of diamonds glisten in the light. Look at that, it's so pretty. I am hoping to put it up on my wall because I really do think it looks great. Probably gonna have to cut off these edges because they kind of look a little bit jank. So yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. And before I go, here are some final concluding thoughts on diamond painting. Overall, I really enjoyed the process. I thought it was really calming and just a nice way to kind of zone out and work on something crafty without having to put too much brain power into it. Because a lot of the times after a long day of work, I want to do something kind of fun and artsy, but I'm too tired to like draw something entirely original. I don't know, maybe that's just me, but I found diamond art painting a really nice way to work on something without it being too brain intensive. Although the one thing I will say is this motion is quite tedious of like putting the diamonds into the painting. So I'd recommend taking it slow, you know, do a little piece every day. Don't force yourself to do too much. Otherwise your shoulder is going to get very sore and my shoulder is very sore. So yeah, if you'd like to get the same painting that I got, you can find the link to it in the description below. I just got mine off of Amazon, so it should be really easy for you to order too. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel for more fun, crafty content. I'll see y'all next time. Bye.